guys, it's DJ Barbecue showing you how to be barbecue brave and cooking the perfect cheeseburger. And how do you know it's perfect? Carry one of these, a thermopen. That way I know where I'm at. I want that middle, just a little bit pink. 58 degrees, I'll just keep probing until that number right there says 58. Uh, yeah. So, how do you do the perfect cheeseburger? Well, you need good meat. And good meat should have a lot of fat. When you go to the supermarket and it says, you know, 12% lean, 5% lean, I'm like, no way. You want minimal 20% aged beef fat. That is flavor. So I've got about six ounces of ground beef. Now people are always asking, you know, what do I put in the beef mince? Do I put, you know, egg, breadcrumbs? Do I season the meat before I make the patty? And I'm like, no, man, all you need is good beef mince, lots of fat, salt and pepper, and a thermopen. Now when I'm cooking for friends, I like to make nice big patties. We're now gonna make it rain salt. Hit it with pepper. Now, when you're setting up your grill, I always go half and half technique. I got charcoal on one side, no charcoal on the other. I give myself a goof proof zone. That's where I can go and put my burgers when things get a bit out of hand over here. Remember, I'm gonna keep probing the burger until it is perfect with a thermopen. 58 degrees, boom. Let's load up the grill with some tasty burgers. Get them on there. You guys hungry? I'm hungry. And season the other side. When you first put that beef patty onto a grill, sometimes it'll just stick, like the metal will just hold onto that burger. When the burger is ready to be flipped, it'll let you know. It'll release itself from the metal. The metal is like, you know what? It's time to flip. Oh, the fat dance. You want to create a nice crust on both sides, like all over that burger, because that crust with the, the fat rendering, the salt, the pepper, that is gonna be the flavor. And we'll know what's ready in the middle because we got our thermopen, man. So I'm getting the fat flare ups, like the fat's rendering, it's kissing the coals and the coals are going, whoa, man, that's a lot of fat, man. So I'm gonna give you some flame. Now, I like a bit of char, but I don't wanna get that crust to go black. So I just gently place them over here, calm things down, and that gives inside of that beef patty a bit of time to cook the temp. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple probes, make sure we are where we wanna be. And the beauty about the therm pen is it's an instant read. Like I'm in there, I know my temperature. Within three seconds, I'm getting towards that magic number. We're getting there, we're climbing, we're just at 50 degrees. I got about eight more to go, and I've got that perfect blushing medium burger. Man, I gotta toast my buns. And look at that, 54, 57, 58 degrees. These are where I want them. It's time to cheese and eat. So I got Monterey Jack and I got some lovely burger cheese. You place the burger down like that, throw the cheese on it, and then throw down the cloche. The buns are nice and toasted. Can the angels sing, please? Ah! All right. Now the good thing about the thermopen, it's not just for barbecue. You know, I use it when I'm making chips indoors, I'm doing like a, a Sunday roast. It's just really versatile for all forms of cooking. You know where you're at. Yeah, I wanna know if my steak is 54 degrees internal temperature. Yes, I wanna make sure my chicken is almost cooked. Cause when I rest it, it'll cook, keep cooking and then I've got a succulent juicy bird. That's why the thermopen is so essential. It's the most perfect tool ever created for cooking indoors or out, whatever the weather. And there you have it, lettuce, cheeseburger, tomato, pickles, fresh red onion, and the poppy seed bun. That is a perfect cheeseburger. Cook to perfection every time with a pen.